By default, iOS allows us to place content anywhere on the screen, including under the system clock and the home indicator. This doesn't look great, which is why by default, SwiftUI ensures components are placed in an area where they can't be covered up by system UI or device rounded corners, an area known as the safe area. On an iPhone 11, the safe area spans a space from just below the notch down to just above the home indicator. You can see in action with a UI like this one. Let's try running that in the iOS simulator. Press the play button in the top left corner of Xcode's window or press Command R. You'll see the form starts below the notch, so by default the row in our form is fully visible. However, forms can also scroll. So if you swipe around in the simulator, you'll find you can move the row up so it goes under the clock, making them both hard to read. A common way of fixing this is by placing a navigation bar at the top of the screen. Navigation bars can have titles and buttons. And in SwiftUI, they also give us the ability to display new views when the user performs an action. We'll get to buttons and new views in a later project, but I do at least want to show you how to add a navigation bar and give it a title, so it makes our form look much better when it scrolls. You've seen that we can place a text view inside a section by adding section around the text view, and that we can place a section inside a form in a similar way. Well, we had a navigation bar in just the same way, except here it's called navigation view. When you see that run in Xcode's canvas, you'll see there's a large gray space at the top of your UI. Well, that's our navigation bar in action. And if you run your code in the simulator, you'll see the form slides under the bar as it moves to the top of the screen. You'll usually want to put some sort of title in the navigation bar, and you can do that by attaching a modifier to whatever you've placed inside. Modifiers are regular methods with one small difference. They always return a new instance of whatever you use them on. Let's try out a modifier to set the navigation bar title for our form. After the form, I'll say dot navigation bar title text Swift UI. When we attach a navigation bar title modifier to our form, Swift actually creates a new form that has a navigation bar title plus all the existing contents you provide. Now you'll notice it uses a large font for the title in our navigation bar. You can get a small font with a slightly different call to navigation bar title. We want to add display mode dot inline. You can see how Apple uses these large and small titles in the settings app. The first screen says settings in large text and subsequent screens show the titles in small text. Because it's so common to use large titles, there's a shortcut version you can use that lets you provide a plain string rather than a text view. 